been loved by all generations since bursting onto our screens in the 50s. Her unforgettable performances in the likes of Rosal Gummidge, Till Death Is Do Part and Midsummer Murders have captivated audiences young and old. Currently, she's enjoying the sunshine on the Costa Blanca. What are you looking at? All dressed up like a dog's dinner. I think that may be a case of the pot calling the kettle black. Well, look, darling, the main thing is you're out of that rather grim hostel. What hostel? Staying in service departments. Service by who? rent a kill Ole! Such incredible grace. He moves like an animal. <laughs> Lovely to see her dancing again. Please welcome Eunice Dobbs. Because, of course, you started off as a dancer, you know, didn't you, way I did. back? I was a chorus girl for years. Yeah. Um, when I was 16, I started dancing. I was at the Palladium as a chorus girl, and then in the Folie Bergère. You were in the Folie Bergère? I was. Wow, what, <laughs> feathers and fishnets? Yeah, and... fishes, uh, feathers, fishnets, everything. But once a mover, <laughs> always a mover. I mean, you can tell a dancer, can't you, by the way they walk on, if nothing else. Really? Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Looking back, I don't want to dwell too much on the past, but yes. we look back at what you did now. There was Cliff and Summer Holiday. Yes. And Alf Garnet's daughter in Till Death Has Do Part, which now, of course, I doubt that it could ever hit the screen. I don't think they could show it. I don't, I don't think it would be allowed. It would be too offensive. But what's interesting was then we were limited to 12 bloodies per per show <laughs> and now that sort of thing is completely acceptable whereas they accepted our um uh well, well racism, racism and, and bigotry like that. And oh <laughs> unbelievable so it's, it's gone a funny way around i think it's now. astonishing when you look at it like that isn't mm. it what was acceptable then the yes. swearing wasn't but the exactly the, the, the racism was and and the, the f word was said by somebody and it made headlines you know, now it's every second word. Yeah, no, but not at this time in the afternoon, ladies. Don't no. turn off. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got, we've got series three of Benny Dawn. Oh. What a wonderful character to play. Oh, it was lovely. And I loved Benny Dawn. I was surprised. Everyone said, oh, God, Benny Dawn, you're going to be... I loved it. I was there in May, which was probably out of season. But it's an amazing place. Have you been? No. <laughs> Una, don't persuade me to go to Benidorm. I've been trying to get out of Blackpool for 20 years. No, <laughs> Not but... to go to Benidorm. Oh, <laughs> no. no. But out of season, you really rated it. I really... And the hotels, it looks like Manhattan. Huge hotels like um, airports. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, if my children had been younger, they would have had a lovely time. Are you still treading the boards as well as yes. gracing our screens? Yes. So what have you been doing? I've just been at the Don Mar in Family Reunion. And before that, I was at the Old Vic in Pygmalion. And then I was in La Cage au Fall when it was at the chocolate factory. Gosh, so you were playing the mother in yes, La Cage. Oh, yes. and of course, Mrs. Higgins, presumably. In yes, the housekeeper. Is it, oh, the housekeeper, Mrs. Pierce. Yes. So you're getting these kind of grand darn parts now. Are you enjoying yeah, that? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Really. The thing is, I think women go through a, a funny period where perhaps there isn't the amount of work that men get. but. And then you get to a good level when it's um, all the old dafties, like in <laughs> Shakespeare and uh, Restoration. There's, there's a lot, there's a wealth of nice old daft women. Well, they're quite, they're actually they're huge fun to play. Oh, they? huge, huge fun. You no longer have the, the, to sustain the, the dramatic, romantic lead, which is no. probably... How tedious is that when you're having to be romantic the whole time? It's much more fun to be a crusty old biddy like this lady in well, Benidorm. Well, then, I used to get crushes on everybody I worked with if we had, if we had love scenes. Or well, even Cliff in some other day. Yes, everybody. You, you, you know, if you're playing opposite somebody, you get a bit of a crush on them. I do, anyway. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so suddenly. No. Um, no. Then it's nice to know that the parts are still coming. What's, in, what's the future holding now? Then? Where are you going after? Um, I've got uh, a, a children's drama coming out at Christmas called Ingenious, which is one of the most wonderful children's programmes that the family enjoy seeing all together. And then I start a series in January called Sherlock, which is an, a modern day Sherlock Holmes with younger uh, male actors and Benedict Cumberbatch and lovely Martin Freeman. 
This is interesting. Sherlock Holmes is obviously the name of the moment. We've got yes. this new film coming out for Christmas yes. um, with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law in as Holmes mm. and Watson. Quite different, going off at a tangent, this sort of wrestling and all this, that and the other. And yours is taking the chair. Because there was young Sherlock, of course, wasn't there? This thing yes. about the younger Sherlock Holmes. So is this a modern take on it? It's modern, it? yeah. yes. And I'm the housekeeper, which, again, which I really, really enjoy. A lot of actresses bemoan the fact that when they get older, they don't get the work. I mean, yes. what do you think the secret is to making sure that you are? Because it's clearly not a problem for you. Well, I think it was a slight problem for, for a period. Um, and then suddenly I've been very, very lucky. I, I think... What helped was I took small parts in good companies. I was prepared to do really tiny parts, but with good companies, because I think that's the only way you can learn. And by being with marvellous other actors, that you can learn from them. Can you, still, <laughs> can you learn from younger actors nowadays? Yes, of course. Too? Yes, I, I worked with the wonderful Michelle Dockery, and she was just wonderful to work with. Yes, you can learn from everything. Does technique change <laughs> over the years? Do you have to act differently now to the way that you acted, say, 30 or 40 years I'm ago? Not Is aware. it smaller? Um, I just think if you're truthful, I mean, some people are larger than life, so it doesn't matter if they're quite broad. Um, I just think be truthful. Mm. That's the most important thing. And then you can get there. It's mm. been lovely to talk to you. And Look you forward too, to seeing Alan. the DVD of Benny Dobbs and your new series when they're coming out yes. later on in the year. Yes, I think Ladies and gentlemen, it. Eunice Tubbs. Oh.